բարև ձեզ, ինչպես եք, ես ուրախ եմ, ես, I'm really happy, I'm really happy to see you again. This is our fourth video lesson. We have learned a lot. Are you ready for more Armenian? Great, then let's start. Today we will learn five more letters and a very important skill, how to introduce yourself. The first part of our lesson, again, will be devoted to the alphabet. We will review the letters we have learned already and also we'll add five new letters. But let's first review the letters we have learned already. We have learned A, Arev, S, Sar, D, Danak, E, Esh, Ch, Chors, N, Nur, M, Make E In U Ut Ye Yelag K Canon V Vart K Katu T Tun R Rope are you ready for the new letters? Then let's start. The first letter I want to introduce is Y, Y, seven. Letter Y sounds like the English letter Y in the word young. Say please after me. Y, 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 Mezatar. It actually looks like three. And Y Pokratar. We are moving on to the next letter. And that letter is Tz Tsoren Wheat. Letter Tz sounds like the combination of English letters T and S in the word cats. Tz, Tsoren. Say please after me. Tz, Tsoren. Tz, Mezatar. And Tz, Pokratar. Ready for the next letter? Okay, let's move on. H, Hai, Armenian. Letter H sounds like the English letter H in the word house. Say please after me. H, Hai. H, Mezatar. And H, Pokratar. It's time to review the letters we learned today. And those letters are Y, Yot. H, Hai, Tz, Tsoren. Let's move on to the last two letters for today. Vo, Vochhar, Sheep. Letter Vo represents a combination of two sounds, V and O. Vo. At the beginning of the words, it sounds vo, as in English word water. So, vo, vochhar. In the middle of the words, it sounds o, as in the English word stop, or in Armenian word nor, new. Vo, mezatar, and it's very easy to write and vo pokratar, which is just a little bit smaller. And finally, the last letter for today. A, 
and quiz. Walnut. Letter A makes a sound like the English letter O makes in the word a clock. A and quiz. Please say after me. A and quiz. A is a vowel. A mezatar. And a pokratar. We're done with the letters. Thank you for your attention. But please let, let's see what words we can make with the letters we learned today. As you see the Armenian word on the screen, try to read it and then check yourself. Again, I want to remind you that you don't have to memorize these words. We're just practicing reading. Hi. Hayastan. Hayeren. Hair. Mair. Kuir. Voch. Vochinch. Vodk. Nor. Ton. Anker. Antanik. America Tsee. Usu Tsich. Kama Vor. It's time for the new competency. How to introduce yourself? I want to start with introducing myself. Yes, Annan M. Yes, Hai M. Yes, Usu Tsichem. Let's listen one more time how I introduced myself and learn the new words. Please listen carefully and repeat after my instruction. The sound N after my name in the sentence Yes Annanem is the definite article. It coincides with the English definite article the. There are two definite articles in Armenian, N and E. N is used when the word ends in a vowel. For example, Katu, cat. Katun, the cat. E is used when the word ends in a consonant. For example, Tun, house. Tune, the house. In Armenian, the proper names also can be used with the definite article. For example, Anna and Annan. Armen and Armena. The definite article E changes to N when the next word in the sentence starts with a vowel. For example, Yes, Armenem. Please pay attention 
that the article N is pronounced with the next vowel. Yes, Armenem. Yes, Hayem. Yes, Usu Tichem. Let's please pronounce the word Usu Tich one more time. Usu Tich. Great job. Now we are going to listen to other people introducing themselves in Armenian. Please listen carefully. Yes, Armenian. Yes, Hayem. Yes, Varorten. Yes, Armenem. Yes, Hayem. Yes, Varortem. Please let's pronounce the word Varort one more time. Varort. Yes, Erikanem. Yes, Amerikatiem. Yes, Kamavorem. Yes, Erikanem. Yes, America TM. Let's say the word America T one more time. America T. America T. Yes, Kamavorem. Kamavor. Let's say it one more time. Kamavor. Well, it's time to see how these expressions are used when people get acquainted. Let's watch a conversation. Yes, Annanem. Yes, Erikanem. Shaturachem. Yes, El. Barevdzes. Yes, Annanem. Barevdzes. Yes, Erikanem. Shat Urachem. Yesel. Well, when we first meet people, the conversation can be this short, but sometimes we can give more information about us. Let us listen. Barevdzes. Barevdzes. Yes, Annanem. Yes, Erikanem. Shat Urachem. Yesel. Erika, duk Amerikatsiek? Ajo, yes Amerikatsiem, yes Kamavorem. Isk duk? Yes Hayem, yes Usucicem. Erika, duk Amerikatsiek? Ajo, yes Amerikatsiem, yes Kamavorem. Isk duk? Yes, Hayem. Yes, Usu Tichem. Time to speak. Please listen to this conversation one more time and speak instead of the second interlocutor. Be sure you speak aloud. Barevdzes. Yes, Annanem. Shaturachem. Erika, duk Amerikatsiek? Yes, Hayem. Yes, Usucicem. Shat lave. Good job. And this much for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Please review everything we learned today. Shnorak alutsun yev hajohutsun.